Clean, keep it clean. And breaking news that, of course, broke yesterday that I'm sure you all heard about by now. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they have signed former Baltimore Ravens linebacker Patrick Queen. They signed him to a three-year, $41 million deal. So he's getting uh, about 13.6 mil per year. I haven't seen all the guarantees and all the full breakdown of it yet, but he is getting a nice little raise. It's not top five linebacker money. I don't think... We expected Patrick Queen to get top five linebacker money. I'm not 100% sure if it's top 10 linebacker money. I have to look that up. But Patrick Queen is a Pittsburgh Steeler. And oh, we got some stuff to talk about with that. Uh, before we get into it, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Uh, and leave a like on the video. I, I know that we are very, very late with this news. Uh, but sometimes life, life will punch you straight in the face. Uh, yesterday was... a just a crazy day for us personally uh first yesterday um right after the derrick henry news broke uh we went on a little family walk we were walking me my wife and carter and carter tripped he tripped and landed literally right on his face broke his tooth had to go take him to get an emergency procedure done to save his tooth. It, it is just crazy and then right after that why, when we left from the procedure i just started feeling really sick i was extremely tired i started getting a headache I ain't want to eat nothing. I just, I was out of it. And then last night, I just, I couldn't sleep. I woke up every, every hour. Uh, just was feeling achy and just tired and just, I do feel better now. I took some ibuprofen, but it was just a rough, rough, rough night. I finally um, got a good couple hours of sleep from earlier this morning, but it was just, yesterday was just crazy. So that's why you ain't see this yesterday. And of course, we got some more stuff that I, I am aware of that happened with the Baltimore Ravens that we're going to talk about a little bit later on. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to give y'all the heads up on what was going on personally, because uh, y'all are family. But anyway, um, with Patrick Queen, so I guess like when the Patrick Queen news came out, like it made me sick, like literally. But anyway, um, somebody pointed out something that was very interesting. Cause I know with Patrick Queen, he's gotten a lot of flack over all the years that he was a Baltimore Raven. Um, I personally feel like he was not a bad player, um, and I feel like he got better. I feel like the first couple of years, it was a little shaky, it was a little rough, but he had some really good moments, he had some really rough moments, but I mean, every player does, but with Patrick Queen in that third year, I feel like we saw a lot of growth, and he was playing some really good football, but then uh, the Baltimore Ravens, they ended up trading for a Roquan Smith, um, and that even brings us back to what we were talking about with Derrick Henry and some other players. If the Baltimore Ravens are interested in a player, they will circle back around and try to get that player because that year that they traded for Roquan Smith, Eric DeCosta was trying to get him before the season even started because contract talks broke down between him and the Bears and Eric DeCosta was trying to get him before the season started, but he obviously didn't. Circle back around to right before the trade deadline, boom, he lands Roquan Smith. But when you think about that, our, even though Patrick Queen, he was growing, he was taking another step, the Baltimore Ravens, I guess they felt like, you know what, Patrick Queen isn't taking the steps that we had hoped he he would take, and he is not progressed as far as we had hoped that he would. We got to get Roquan Smith. We're going to get Ro. Because when you think about it, um, you think about somebody like a C.J. Mosley, uh, first-round draft pick for the Ravens out of Alabama. They didn't trade for a linebacker while they had C.J. Mosley uh, because C.J. Mosley, he had consistently done his thing. Again, Patrick Queen was not a bad player at all. But I just feel like the Baltimore Ravens may have felt like, oh, he, he didn't grow enough. He didn't get far enough uh, while he was a Baltimore Raven. Or in that third year, they, I guess they felt like they just needed more. And they went out and got Roquan Smith. Something else that somebody brought out that I felt like was a really, really good point. A lot of us, I know especially myself, I just knew, hey, Mike McDonald, head coach of the Seahawks. Um, Jordan Brooks, who I believe that's, that's who they drafted. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. They drafted Jordan Brooks instead of Patrick Queen. The Chargers drafted Kenneth Murray instead of Patrick Queen. And the Ravens obviously got Patrick Queen. But anyway, um, Seahawks, they, they lost a linebacker. They also lost a safety. So I, I was for sure. I just knew. Like, oh, Mike McDonald, he was defensive coordinator for Patrick Queen and Geno Stone too. Both, both of those guys going in there. And the Seahawks just cut their two safeties too. They just cut two safeties. So I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. It's lining up perfect. Nope. Nope. And somebody felt like that could possibly be an indictment on Patrick Queen and Geno Stone. That maybe Mike McDonald felt like it was just the system that made them look better. But I don't know. I, I still feel like both of them are good players regardless. But um, that was telling. But again, we don't know the whole story. It could be that 
Uh, maybe Mike McDonald tried, but the offer was better from Cincinnati, and Patrick Queen's offer was better from Pittsburgh. So we'll never know. Um, but anyway, it's going to be interesting seeing Patrick Queen with the Pittsburgh Steelers. This, this is going to make the, that rivalry that much more fun. Same with Geno Stone with the Bengals. But um, even though the, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers and Baltimore Ravens rivalry right now, it's pretty, it's pretty dead. It's pretty much dead. It, it is not near close to where it used to be. It's just not the same, man. It, it's, it's really not. Uh, so hopefully this can add some fuel to that fire and get it back being fun again. Because it's just it doesn't have that same hype. It doesn't have that same animosity that it used to before. Um, but with Patrick Queen on the Pittsburgh Steelers, he'll be over there. They, they'll, they're going to really allow him to play free. Because he got Highsmith over there. He got TJ Watt uh, over there. He got Cam Hayward over there. He got some really, really good players. He got Joey Porter Jr. over there. Um, and he's, he's going to really be able to play free. And just play his game. And, and if the Pittsburgh Steelers use him uh, the same way the Baltimore Ravens used him these last couple of years, Patrick Queen going to make plenty of plays uh, for them. So he should have a, uh, a real, real good uh, career uh, with Pittsburgh. Now, something that was very interesting. And I guess, hey, if somebody's going to cut the check, then that'll make you change your mind on a lot of stuff. I remember um, Patrick Queen talked about Mike Tomlin from his rookie year. He talked about how Mike Tomlin said that uh, – I think Patrick Queen had like made a tackle and he fell like on the Steelers sideline, something like that. And Mike Tomlin was like, "You're not a Raven. Get out of here. You 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 you're not you're not a real Raven. You you're not a Raven." And Patrick Queen said that that bothered him. He said that 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 bothered him, uh, and he took that personally. <laughs> but I guess Mike Tomlin must have knew down the road that Patrick Queen would not be a Baltimore Raven and that he was always going to end up being a Pittsburgh Steelers. So I I guess that that was that. But <clears throat> excuse me. I thought that was interesting that uh, Patrick Queen had, um, I mean, after after him saying that. And, again, he, like, really seemed like he really didn't like that, didn't like Mike Tomlin saying that. And, again, it's just, just words, and now uh, Steelers cut the check for him. So I guess them words went out the window. He was like, oh, yeah, they paying me this? Oh, hey, I don't care what Mike Tomlin said. No, I'm not a Raven. I'm a Pittsburgh Steeler, baby. But, um, no, nah, I'm, I'm happy for Patrick Queen, man. I'm happy for Patrick Queen. Uh, it, it's it's going to be fun. Just just watching that, just watching him. I, I wonder if he is going to be, because I don't know their inside linebacker situation. I know Alex Highsmith, he's outside or inside. I don't know what he is, but um, I don't know if uh, what their, in, their inside linebacker situation is. And, of course, with Patrick Queen, you can move him around, have him doing a lot of different things. But he just, he's a weapon, man. He's going to be a nice weapon uh, for Pittsburgh. So, Lamar gonna have to shake him a couple of times, and I mean, I'm sure he did it in practice, but now it's gonna be the real thing. Um, Mark Andrews likely gonna have to get a couple catches over Patrick Queen sometimes. Uh, and Derrick Henry, run him over. I like how uh, Pat Ricard, Pat Ricard yesterday he tweeted, he said, uh, "I don't know what I'm more excited or more happy about, uh, blocking for Derrick Henry or getting a pancake Patrick Queen." And I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's 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 gonna be so fun, man." It is going to be so fun. But, yeah, now um, as far as what he left behind, he's leaving behind Roquan Smith. Um, and it's expected that the inside linebacker next to him is going to be Trenton Simpson. We'll see. It's still to be determined. Nothing's official yet. But uh, we'll see who they have lined up next to Roquan Smith on the Baltimore Ravens. But they'll get that worked out. Uh, it's almost like Roquan Smith is not a Ray Lewis. He's not on the level of Ray Lewis. He's really good, but he's not on the level of Ray Lewis. But... The situation with Roquan Smith reminds me of Ray Lewis to where, not taking anything away from the guys that were lined up next to him, but if you got Roquan Smith, you'll be straight for, not necessarily whoever's there at linebacker, but you'll be straight for whoever's there at linebacker. You'll be good to go. Uh, but that's that. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all again. Thank you so much for your patience. We have the updates on all the other stuff going on. Ronnie Stanley, Ronnie Clint, all that stuff. Coming up very, very soon. So I see y'all in a little bit. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for being patient. Because again, I obviously not 100%. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I'm still a beat up, but um, I got y'all and I appreciate y'all. Like Patrick Queen is when it comes to being a Baltimore Raven, we out.